In Australia, we are now building the fastest aircraft in the world, out of wood. The wooden wonder, the cabinet maker's cataclysm for the Axis, is the de Havilland Mosquito. From balsa wood and plywood, the fuselage is made, and these woods are held together with cold water glue. There is no metal construction on a mosquito fuselage or wings. These bands hold the balsa wood to the three-ply, and another coat of glue joins the outer three-ply to the balsa. As soon as it sets to a hard, strong wooden shell, the bands are removed. The half section of the fuselage is made on a frame, and then taken for assembly with its opposite number. The two half shells are fitted together, and that is most of the body of a mosquito. Such frail-looking bodies of planes as these have carried thousands of tons of bombs to Berlin and carpenters can make them. The wing is in one section. The fuselage fits onto it. The wings are all wood too. Balsa covered with three-ply. No riveting required. It's simply done with a screwdriver. And they used to think making modern warplanes would always be a metal worker's job. The Mosquito is powered by two Rolls-Royce Merlin motors. Just four bolts and four nuts hold each big engine firmly in place. Tremendous horsepower, harnessed by only four slim bolts. We never thought five years ago that we'd be building the top-notch fighter bomber with three-ply and a glue pot. So Australian-made mosquitoes roll from the workshop, a triumph of simplified manufacture, a magnificent new sky weapon for the RAAF. At left, Major Murray Jones, de Havilland's manager in Australia, and an ace of the last war. Now let the Mosquito prove she's the fastest thing that flies, the most manoeuvrable twin-engine aircraft in the world. With one engine out of action, it can still fly like this. Another remarkable example of the Mosquito's performance, coming into land with one engine dead. With top speed of over 400 miles an hour, the Mosquito has terrific climb. She's too fast for the Nazi pilots to catch, and the Germans hate the name and sound of the Mosquito. And now, in an Australian factory, each length of balsa wood, each strip of three-ply, is a rod in pickle for Japan. <laughs>